After being in business for nearly a decade, the Walmart store on Fort Street Mall is now closed for good. It shut its doors at 7 o'clock tonight. Yeah, its closure will leave an empty space for the downtown area, which is already dealing with crime. KITV Force Kate Madera spoke to those living and working downtown about how they feel this could affect their neighborhood. Kate. Yeah, that's right. Many locals are worried that this vacant area might attract more crime. And to help avoid this, the Honolulu City Council is currently considering a bill that would allow for easier conversion of commercial spaces into residential housing. Bill 21, introduced by Councilmember Tyler Dos Santos Tam, would bring further flexibility for residential building ventilation and lighting regulations and has support from the Department of Planning and Permitting. Still, some locals are saying that this newly vacant space doesn't need to become more housing. It needs to be a place where people can gather once again. Why not have a place where you can have workspace and sell to the public and, and rent that out to artisans and make it like a unique stop? It's central between the two two ports where the cruise ships come in, people could fall in there, maybe even like refresh the Hilo Hattie model, you know, have a little Hilo Hattie store in there, you know, like make it an epic place where people want to. The Chinese Chamber of Commerce also says that allocating resources to the downtown area for higher safety and efforts to bring it back to the booming area of culture, shopping and food that it once was is key and that they hope to see city council be more involved and proactive to help make this happen. I just hope that they would take some steps now to head off the trouble before it begins. I know that's very hard. Their hands are tied in certain ways, but the more they do now, the less of a problem it will be later. Bill 21 still has plenty of time for refining through more zoning committee and council meetings before it can be passed. Council member Dos Santos Tam says hopefully this will be part of a solution to help Chinatown improve quickly. Kate Medeiros, KTV4 Island News.